we should say we've had quite a few suggestions for hashtag double J bet. Hmm. You and I have decided we're going to make a, a fun bet for the third Saturday in October, which has become a tradition for Alabama versus Tennessee. And, uh, you think your volunteers can beat my Alabama crimson tide. I say, nay, nay, <laughs> I ask for you guys. Hey, we're not going to make a monetary bet. We're going to make a fun bet. Here's some of the suggestions we got so far. Our man Casey says strap match winner gets to take the strap to the loser. I'd have to take your word for it, Jeff, but you said that don't hurt that bad, but I'd really rather not find out. So there's I'd one. one. I'd love that one. Oh, I'd like to tie I'd it. Figure you like that one. Lay into you, pal. Mm. Our, our pal Wes Gay says if Alabama wins, Jeff uses the UA fight song for his entrance music one week. I like that. If we could get that Alabama theme song on TV, woo, roll yeah. time. Roll but time. If Tennessee wins, Conrad has to use Rocky Top as his theme for all of his podcasts for a week. Mm. That would suck. I'd get tired of that pretty fast. I'd love to see old JR's face when that lit up. Uh, he boomer sooner. He's got to be happy off this weekend, but keep going with the bets. Here's another one. Loser dyes their hair pink. That's from the artist for the fans. I don't really like that one, but I understand it. Uh, here's one from Joe. If Alabama wins, Jeff has to dye his hair black and make Ooh. a donation to the charity of Conrad's choice. I can't imagine you with black hair. I'm sure Marcus is Photoshopping that up for everybody to see. You look like you'd look like the damn Greg, the hammer Valentine from rhythm and blues version. Of Jeff here. And if Tennessee wins, Conrad shaves his beard and mustache. Uh, nobody wants to see that. Oh, it'd be nice. Uh, ben Ledbetter, friend of the show, says if Alabama wins, Jeff has to have a Bama flag displayed on his boat and wear a Bama hat while captaining said vessel next boating season. I wouldn't get very much enjoyment out of that. And I don't know that I could hold him to it. So I don't like that. <laughs> uh, the Hamilton says loser has to go into a very public setting and read a poem written by the winner. I like that. That's pretty good. Ooh. Uh, Francis Reyes says loser gets a guitar shot. Now we're talking. I figured that would be something you would like. Uh, here's one from will loser gets painted up in the winning team's colors, hair and facial hair colored C pick for reference, stand on the busiest street corner in the losers hometown during 5 PM rush hour on a Friday for one full hour. That'd be tough. I'd love that. Alex McCarthy is just a crazy person and wants us to not only be humiliated, but get doggone divorced. He says, loser's wife gets her head shaved Dundee style. I don't know about that. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah. We're trying to make, have fun here, not get attorneys involved. Um, and, and then we have some fans who are not us fans of our show, like our pal, Justin, who says, if Alabama wins, you stop talking about football on the podcast. And if the Tennessee volunteers win, you stop talking about football. On the <laughs> there podcast. you go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I so, love it. Keep those coming. We're looking for your suggestions. Hashtag double J bet. There was a lot. Uh, what yeah. should we do? There's so many more. That's enough to get us started. That's enough. Uh, we want to hear those ideas from you. We will commit next week here on this program as to what the bet will be.